Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. I joyfully welcome you to this session in which we share the verse of the day. And the verse of the day is from Matthew chapter 13, 44. It reads, The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy he goes and sells all he has and buys that field. Sisters and brothers, have you ever had the experience of giving someone something very precious and instead of a genuine positive surprise and gratitude, the person laughs at the precious gift you placed before him? This sort of experience will provide a context to the verse of this day which speaks about the kingdom of God like a treasure which someone discovered and bought. So the, the background of a precious gift given to someone unappreciative of its value provides a veritable contrast to someone else who understands its value and sells up everything in order to acquire it. For us to understand this contrast, we must look at the context in which Matthew chapter 13 falls within the gospel according to Matthew. It falls within a section of the gospel which is focused on the preaching and teaching of Jesus in the midst of opposition, and this we find between Matthew chapter 11 and Matthew chapter 13. Within this section, we find a number of narratives relating directly to the rejection of Jesus and his message. After these narratives relating to the rejection of Jesus, we find in Matthew chapter 13, 1 to 52, a set of kingdom parables which narrate the nature of the kingdom with a background on its rejection by those who do not appreciate his value in Matthew chapter 11 to Matthew chapter 12. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure which is hidden. The message of Jesus was not quite clear to his antagonists like the scribes and the Pharisees. And this is why the passage of the gospel today ends with a remark on the scribes who, who have been trained for the kingdom of heaven. That scribe who is trained for the kingdom of heaven, according to Jesus, is like the master of the household. The word for treasure in Greek is thesauros, and we found a, find a concentration of this word in Matthew's gospel. And in many cases, it is related to the value of the kingdom of heaven, the value it should have for the disciples of Jesus Christ. For example, we find it used three times in Matthew chapter 6, and in one of those cases, Jesus said, Store up treasure for yourselves in heaven. Again, he said, where your treasure is, there your heart shall also be. It is therefore not surprising to see that treasure is similar that Jesus Christ used for the kingdom of heaven in this verse in order to speak of its immense value. Remember that the tre treasure was discovered by a discerning person, which means that there are many others who missed the, the treasure and did not discover it. These are the people who, for different reasons, like the opposing scribes, did not see the treasure hove that is held in the words of Jesus for the salvation of the human person. For that reason, they miss a great opportunity to receive a gift so precious and so valuable. The word of God is always an invitation to something greater, a call to appreciate the true quality of divine grace given through listening and meditation on those words. Incidentally and unfortunately, not everybody discovers the value it holds as a life-changing opportunity for transformation. This is also the reason Jesus gave us the parable of the sower and the soil, in order to tell us that not everyone is prepared to receive the seed of that word which is planted. What is stopping you from discovering the true value of the word of God as a precious gift given by God himself? Is it distraction? Is it lack of faith? Is it anxiety? Is it the difficulties of life? Whatever it may be, pray, sisters and brothers, for the grace to deal with them in order to truly value the word of God as a precious gift. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, a listening ear to hear the words of the kingdom proclaimed to us. Grant us also your grace in order to discover the true value of your words in our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen.